Fora TV. The world is thinking. The people who took over after the dropping of the bomb, when Leslie Groves left, said, this is just the beginning. Our bombs are clumsy. They're big and heavy and hard to deliver. We can get the same firepower out of much more deployable weapons. And they went to work very hard on that. And they went to work on the means to deploy them. Originally, it was the Strategic Air Command to have airplanes in the air 24 hours a day carrying the bombs, which meant lots of secrecy around that operation. And the establishing of bases abroad for the landing, refueling, re repairs, etc. And so uh, a kind of network of nuclear establishments began. It would continue when submarines were the carriers of the bomb and then when missiles were. We wanted places to put our missiles. We wanted to put them in Turkey, for instance. And to do that, we had to have friendly governments who were going to allow us to do that and would help protect the secrets of these installations from their own people, if necessary. And so the CIA was set up to make sure that governments, friendly governments, could be established around the world. And they've started a series of coups to knock off unfriendly governments and put in our puppets. The NSC was established. The NSA was established to spy on the rest of the world, but also on Americans. And President Truman was given an authority that no president had ever had before and that was totally against the Constitution. The Constitution says Congress shall have power to declare war. The Atomic Energy Act said only the president can initiate nuclear war. The rationale for that was that now in the nuclear age, if another country gets the bomb and uses it on us, there will be no time to talk it over, to consult Congress, to educate the American people, anything of that sort. The president must instantaneously either anticipate or retaliate uh, an expected or feared attack. So that extraordinary new power was given to the president. Originally, it was given solely for nuclear war. But when President Truman went to war in Korea, his Secretary of State, Dean Acheson, said, this is not technically the condition under which you're supposed to initiate war because it's not a nuclear war, at least not yet. But in order to protect, protect your prerogative, do not ask Congress for any permission. Initiate the war on your own. And Truman did. So that original bomb power is spreading out now to general power in the presidency. Since that time, although before the 1940s, Congress did declare war regularly uh, in the War of 1812, and the Mexican War, and the Civil War, World War I, World War II. But since Korea, no Congress has ever declared war again. 